So the medical term for eye lift is called blepharoplasty. And when we're looking at the eye, we're looking at both the upper and lower lid. So if you have extra skin in your upper lid, we're going to perform an upper lid blepharoplasty. And if there are, is extra skin or bags of fat under the eye, then we're going to perform a lower lid blepharoplasty. The lower lid can be approached with different approaches. So if we need to remove some skin, we're going to do it through a little incision that's going to be right at the lash line. But if we have a younger patient or a patient with just fat, then we can do something called a transconjunctival blepharoplasty, which means that the incision is inside the lid and there's no scars. When we're doing eyelid surgery, I usually tell my patients that their recovery is about a week and they will have stitches if they need them that are in for about five to seven days. If a patient has extra skin or extra fat that they want to remove permanently, then surgery is the best option. Obviously, it's a surgical procedure that involves some downtime. So as long as the patient has downtime and isn't on any blood thinners, then surgery is a great option. For patients that have either medical issues that prevent them from having surgery or not quite ready to go under the knife, then surgical procedures to correct the brow, not, excuse me, non-surgical procedures to address the brow or the cheek. We can put some filler often in the lower lid to uh, camouflage a bag, or we might put some threads or neuromodulators in the brow to lift and open the eye. There's a lot of options depending on the individual patient. Health insurance does not cover cosmetic procedures and blepharoplasty is usually a cosmetic procedure. So a great alternative for a patient who either has a bag under their eye or a depression, which we call a tear trough deformity, would be filler. Filler can often be used to camouflage either the bag or reduce a depression. So this is a very safe procedure when performed properly. So it should be done by someone who is familiar with performing this procedure.